Hello everybody and welcome to a small tips and tricks guide on Discord. Today I'm going to try and so show there show some small tips that can help you explain or show stuff within a server a lot easier. And this will uh explain quite a lot. The first things first is you're going to have to turn on developer mode within Discord. In order to do this, you go to settings, appearance, scroll down to the bottom, you will have advanced. Now, when you come to this, this will be turned off. All you want to do is turn it on and ignore everything else. You can then escape and leave that a lot easier. Then when you right click on users, you will have copy ID. You will want to use this for these tips and tricks. This also happens within servers. This is just a test server I made to obviously not have my alt for examples. And once you do this, you then have the ability to uh, copy people's ID. So copy ID. And then if we do open of a lesser than at symbol, then use control V to paste and you'll have a number. That's just a number that Discord assigns to users and channels and everything alike. Then you want a greater than and you have a at. Now this is going to obviously at this alt account because that's the ID we copied. And then obviously if we at, we can then click on this and see the user and whatnot. That's not important. Now, if you do not have the person uh, friended or you have never met this person before, their symbol will come up differently and you won't be able to uh, uh, click on it and view this user. The three reasons is because you are not friends with the user, you do not share a server with the user, or you've never ran into them before. There is rare accounts that Discord will save the user that you've probably run into on server discovery. You've uh, had a server shared with that user before in the past, or you are not friends with the user, or you've been friends with the user, but he's removed you. That's the only times that it might fill in the name and it will turn into something like this. Now, that's not important. So, that's how you tag a person. And this is very useful because if the user obviously meets the requirements, they can also click on them and view. So if we were to use a another server, you can also tag the person in a admin channel. It will not at the user that they've been tagged in an admin channel because they cannot view that channel. It will not give them a ghost ping or anything, so you are fine. And if the user clicks on the user, it will view all of their roles within the server and they'll never know that they've been added or talked about in a mod, uh, in a mod channel. This is super useful if you wanna explain that user X and user Y have been arguing and they are going to lose these roles and gain these roles because it's punishment. This is super useful for that type of situation. That's the only reason why I can think you want to use it in a server. If not, you want to obviously say in a DM, this user has, uh, Mr. X has been super good. I think we should give him X role and take note, you cannot add roles with in DMs, it will come up as this type of error, but with the uh, role ID. The proof of this is if I get this and I try to at it, it will just come up as an error. Obviously we don't want that. So we are going to just delete it because we don't want that. We are only gonna keep the two errors here. So. That is how to at users very quickly. 
and you can explain them very well. The user can obviously click on them and get their entire ID. Or if you want to DM somebody, like you've got a DM X for whatever reason, you can do that. Tip number two is a very quick time saver. This is to speed up uh, messaging. If you want to advertise channels, make sure the user is in the server first, otherwise you will get a message like this. But do not threat. This can be solved very, very quickly. And you will see now why. We'll delete that because we won't need that message now. And if we go to without alt, this is quickly on how to do it. So obviously you can type into channels uh, hashtag and that's obviously by hitting hashtag and then typing in the channel and you can obviously uh, do it itself nothing will happen go to discord is fun or whatever server you want mine is discord is fun copy id go to your dm lesser than hashtag paste the id then greater than and hit enter as you can see, Discord has formatted it to show the channel. And this sends me into the without alt server and straight to the channel. And if I'm in here and I obviously go and do it, it's put me back in the Discord as fun. So I don't need uh, to be in the channel. It sends me to where it needs to be. If there is a message in there, unfortunately, you cannot go to that message. That's that's just something it cannot do but it sends you to the right channel this obviously now lets you speed up quite a lot if I use this message as you can see I've got two deleted channels but this message is obviously graphically formatted and this message if I click join now I obviously have used a template that this could comes with, a gaming template. If I go home now, both of the channels have been formatted correctly. So I can now view general, or I can go here and view the clips and highlights and it sends me to it. So this is a very nice way to advertise your server to people that you think will be interested in it. Obviously I've put a little crappy disclaimer at the bottom of why the channels will come up as deleted. And if I just leave the server, obviously the formatting changes back to deleted channel because it can't find the channel. And if something can't find the channel within Discord, Discord assumes it's been deleted. So that is why obviously it comes up as deleted channel. But when I join, it obviously makes it formatted correctly. As I said, this is a really nice way to advertise if you think people will be interested. Do take note, if you uh, want to do this, just make sure to not be annoying with the advertisement. I'm only doing this as an example that you can use. You don't actually need to advertise, but it's there in case. If you want to add users, remember you have to obviously have done one of the three I explained before. Use the timestamp to go to that bit if you uh, need a recap. And you cannot add roles. That can only happen within the servers. As an example here. Hopefully these tips and tricks helped. And you can do some really cool stuff with them. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Farewell for now.